Okay, let's get started. Here are some materials you'll need. Everything will total up to less than $50. First, buy some quality lettuce seeds. Next, buy some rock wool starter plugs. Get the one and a half inch size. You can get about a hundred of them delivered from Amazon for $15. Go to Target and get these three Ziploc containers for about $2. They're the perfect size. Order some space blankets from Amazon. You can get about four of them for $6. And finally, you'll need a tote container to put your plants in. This Sterilite you could find at Target for about $5. You'll need some hydroponic nutrient solution. This General Hydroponics Maxi Grow is about $15 and will last all year. Also, get a folding box cutter and 3M blue exterior painting tape. This plastic cardboard is great for making spacers. You can buy it from the Home Depot or from Michael's Art Supplies. This is the basic hydroponic growing module. Just cut a 1 and 3 8 inch square hole into the Ziploc lid, the optional spacer, and the space blanket shroud. The spacer will elevate the grow plug and allow more nutrient solution into the reservoir. Use enough space blanket to block all light from the reservoir so algae won't grow. Use some blue tape to reinforce a space blanket from tearing. Drop a few lettuce seeds down the center hole of the grow plug. They should only be about a quarter inch deep. Then slowly pour enough water onto the cubes to make them fully moist but not soaking wet. Cover with a humidity dome or cellophane, preferably with some breathing holes. Place the planted seeds under a light source but don't cook them. Ideal temperatures are between 10 degrees C and 25 degrees C. Your seeds should germinate in a few days. Thin out the seedlings so there's only one plant per plug. Keep the seedlings moist and wait for the first true leaves to appear. At this point, there'll be some roots poking out from the bottom of the plugs. This means it's time to transplant. We'll put the seedlings in some deeper cups that'll hold the roots. These disposable shot glasses are perfect for our one and a half inch grow plug seedlings. You can use one half or full strength nutrient solution in the cups. You can keep the seedlings indoors under 24 hour lighting or they'll rapidly develop. Again, don't cook the seedlings. Please keep them below 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 27 degrees C. Keep the seedlings moist with either water or one half strength nutrient solution. When the seedlings are large enough, they're ready to transplant to their outdoor containers. Fill the reservoir with full strength nutrient solution. Carefully push the grow plug down the square hole, gently minding the roots. The nutrient solution should just touch the bottom of the grow plug. Cut a piece of tin foil to wrap as a collar around the seedling. This will prevent evaporation and protect the plant. The plant is ready for outdoor placement. My balcony is west facing and only gets afternoon sun. This is enough even during winter. During winter, it's just fire and forget. I'll watch it grow, but there's no need for any plant care. Only when it approaches mature size will I check its nutrient reservoir. 
Here's a mature plant ready for harvest. The roots are white and healthy and I've refilled the reservoir about a week ago. The plant breathes through its air exposed roots so only refill its reservoirs to half full using half strength solution. The space blanket keeps the algae from growing and keeps the reservoir temperatures low. During summer, I might need measures to keep the reservoir temperatures low enough to prevent the plants from bolting. Something will work, whether it's moving the plants into more shade or even filling the stairlight tote with water. Something will work to keep the temperatures low enough. Overall, growing lettuce hydroponically is easy once you've grown one plant to maturity. Start small. Buy some seeds. Sprout them in a little dish. Transplant the seedlings and take it one step at a time. Above all, keep it simple. $2 Daylight 5000K LED bulbs will get your seedlings growing. Use cheap or existing materials. This should be a fun, easy process that gets you going with a new high-tech homesteading.